in that hot body. All right. Yeah, it's about halfway done with this one. It is a four and a half second lead for Mayfield. The real battle through the whoops is for second. Hugo Cavalieri, Tuscan, and Ramaphal. Right side table. Over the hipper in the corner and over the triples on the back straightaway. Down the back straightaway they go. Hugo looking like he's opening just a little bit of a gap. And Cavalieri clips the step over here. Comes Tuscan to the inside. Tuscan on the track and over. Hugo rolls it over. Four-way battle, here comes Ronafal in the hot body. HC Racing Buggy moving up. Here they come down the front side. What an excellent race. Cavalier, Justin, Tito, and Ronafal. This is a great race, and the person that loves this race the most is Ryan Mayfield out front. Knowing that these guys are all racing and slowing each other down, that's going to open up the gap to seven seconds for Mayfield. Four thirty to go. Looks like Tessman, Cavalieri back on the podium. Tessman back up to second. Cavalieri in third. Tebow fourth. You guys are very, very lucky here in Arizona at the Dirt Lakewood Challenge. You're watching the best drivers at least from all over this world right here in Phoenix, Arizona. Fear Farm Raceway, 18th annual, the Dirt Micro Challenge. Tessman starting to pull away. Ronald from dead last from the B main from dead last on the grid all the way up to the third spot in that HD racing buggy. So it is the music out front of Mayfield, Tesman in the upgrade, and Ronifold, HD racing buggy, Cavalieri Associated, and now Tanner Denny in the TLR. Oh, nice pass. Oh, Ronifold almost spins it out, and Cavalieri going to go by on the outside to take back over that third podium spot. So it looks like Tuscan getting away from that battle for third. The only battle is for the third spot on the podium. Cavalieri and Ronifold. Fast line for the race goes to Spencer Ripken all the way down to the 12th spot with the 40 point kick. Tuscan does it again, almost loses it over that second triple. Gets completely sideways and flat lands really hard. And Tuscan with another mistake heading into the whoop. And here comes Cavalieri and Ronifold. Cavalieri the inside. Cavalieri now taking over that second spot. Seven eight now, three to go. It's Mayfield out front by eight seconds. Cavalieri now in second, Tuscan in the third spot. Wonderful in fourth, and Jared Pico top five. Canada any running six, the boy is seven, two, he is eight, Gary is nine, ten, seven, ten. Lucky he won his block on himself, Richard. So he keeps this time to go to fans off the track. And we move on, we got three quarters of this race is done. 7.39 and 2.30 to go. We're keeping an eye on that battle for the third spot. Between Tuscan and Ronifold, Cavalieri in second now, putting a little bit of artificial light between himself and Tuscan now. And Ronifold charging, charging on Tuscan. So Tuscan and Ronifold lead your battle so far down the back straight away they go. Former teammate Tuscan moving on to the X-ray ride. Ronifold, the ace now world champ with a nice pass for Tuscan and take it right back. These are the best of the best. You're looking at the two previous Nitro World Champions. 2014, it was Ty Tessman in Italy. 2016, it was wonderful for the two past World Champions. Drew Battle for third on the podium. Dropping that third spot with three racing. Back and forth, back and forth. One minute, 30 seconds to go. One of the better races we've seen so far in this sequence of eight events. Can they catch up to Cavalieri for that second spot? Wayne oh, Norris oh, catching Mayfield. He's almost at 10 seconds now. Oh, oh, oh. So, I'm told Mayfield also our reigning champion in the E-Buggy class. So he did E-Buggy from last year. So looking to go back to back in this class. He is up front with eight and a half seconds. The battle for second looks like Cavalieri and Tessman. Tito up to third, looks like Ronifold got rolled it over on the carpet. He drops down to the fifth spot. One minute to go, big lead for Mayfield. Cavalieri in second, and now Tessman. Does he have one more late race start? He's got 45 seconds. They're gonna make it by for one more lap. For a lap and a half, and be turning that second place battle. The white flag will be out for Cavalieri and Tessman with 35 seconds to go. They're doing 30 plus second lap time. So here they come to take the white flag down the front side. Cavalieri and Tessman, one more lap. 
Debo right there in fourth and Radical in fifth. Then he took the boy of three from second and left. 20 seconds to go. Cavalieri throws it down through the whip. Oh, and Tessman into the pipe. Here comes Debo. Debo going to go by for third now. So Debo on the podium. Tessman off the podium as of now. Five seconds to go. And Debo gets it wrong. Tessman going to wait for it. Although Tessman, or Debo was sideways. And Tessman kind of had nowhere to go. But Tessman, good sportsmanship. Personally, I would have raced on in that situation, but drivers do what they do, and that is time. Finish the yeah. off, you are on. Mayfield, what's yeah. happening? Once again, Cavalier second.